Welcome back to Those Vegan Chefs. I'm Stefan, and this channel is dedicated to making you a better vegan cook. Today we're making a broccoli recipe featuring the whole broccoli, the stem, and the florets. And it looks like a little tree. It's delicious, and I think we should make it right now. We eat the broccoli floret every week. What about the stem? I think today is the day we combine the two to make an amazing dish. The first step in the broccoli is looking at the broccoli stem and trying to decide how we could cut this into thirds with keeping the florets and the stem attached. So we could kind of see how we have like this natural line happening there, kind of marking it with my knife. We have another natural line happening right there. So we're just going to start to follow those lines and actually peel, not peel, but push the cauliflower back a little bit. Did I say cauliflower? It's broccoli, people. <laughs> there we go. We're going to cut the next portion of broccoli. Got it right that time, everybody. That's right. Oh, this big floret right now is messing with the whole flow of this steak. So we're just gonna trim it off. And now we have three pieces that are all pretty similar, right? And we're gonna eat this later for sure, right? Before we coat and cook the broccoli, we're gonna bang out the sauce. The reason is it's really nice to have the sauce just waiting for the broccoli. We're gonna start with dicing the dates. Cut the date in half so that we could pop the seed out. We're gonna cut them in quarters. And then we're just gonna cut nice little bite-sized squares. Our dates are diced, and now we're gonna take our time to remove the thyme leaves. We're gonna take our time. <laughs> All right, so it does make a difference if we have as few stems as possible in our sauce. We're gonna make just a nice little pile. We're gonna have roughly a tablespoon of thyme leaves. We only have two more steps. We're gonna zest our lemon. We're gonna bring our pan up to medium heat. We're gonna add a couple tablespoons of our garlic confit oil. Garlic confit oil is nice and toasty. We're gonna add our walnut pieces. You can smell the toasting of the walnuts. And basically we'll wanna get them about halfway because we're gonna add other ingredients to this to toast. We're gonna to add our dates next. We're gonna lightly toast and candy the dates and the golden raisins. Beautiful. We're gonna add our lemon zest. I love how the raisins start to poof up. It's so cool. We're gonna reduce the heat just a little bit more. We want everything to toast but not burn, of course. Last is our thyme. Woo! Pop it. Yeah. Love it. We're going to season with a little bit of salt. We're going to add a quarter cup of almond milk. We're going to turn the heat back on low. We're going to just let the almond milk reduce just a touch. Our garlic confit goes in after we've turned off the heat. This is up to you a little bit. I like to add enough so that when we spread this on the plate, everybody can get some garlic confit. It's okay to get the rest of that oil in there. And incorporate the garlic confit. I'm telling you right now, this little vinaigrette is fire. It smells so good. We're gonna adjust the acid levels beautiful walnut garlic confit vinaigrette is finished. It's time we make 
our coating for the broccoli. We're gonna start with the wet. We're gonna add three tablespoons tapioca flour, two tablespoons tapioca flour, three tablespoons plant milk. We might need a touch more of plant milk. The liquid needs to be very thick. And I'm using a plate for a very specific reason, which we will discuss when we start our dredging. For the dry, we're starting with three quarters cup flour, quarter cup nutritional yeast, quarter cup panko breadcrumb, couple dashes of cayenne pepper, and a generous amount of granulated garlic, nice pinch of salt. We're essentially gonna mix to incorporate. That's it. A little spicy, garlicky, kind of cheesy from the nutritional yeast, a little bit of texture from the panko. The first step in our dredging is, of course, we're gonna add it to the wet. And the reason I used this kind of shallow plate is I wanna keep the broccoli florets out of the breadcrumbs and the wet. We're gonna repeat this three times. We have the flour coated already. Quickly put it in. And then back into the flour. We're really creating a nice thick bread coat breading. time. The oil's nice and warm. I'm gonna place the broccoli right into the pan. We're gonna season the florette right on top. We're gonna drizzle just a little oil right on top. It's gonna help it cook. And we're gonna balance cooking it over medium heat so that the crust becomes crispy, the broccoli is tender and cooked. Oh, look at that. Oh, you can already hear the crispy crisp. Yeah, a little charring on the broccoli. That looks amazing. There we go. Oh, it's looking so good. Golden brown, delicious. Look at that. All right, we're going to... Pull them out of the pan, and we're gonna plate. Oh yeah, absolutely beautiful. We're gonna basically start putting our warm lemon garlic confit walnut vinaigrette down. Right on top. Drizzle that around. I'm gonna add some fresh thyme on top. Listen, can you hear it? I think you could hear it. 
I absolutely love how this turned out. It's so crispy on the bottom. It's like creamy and yummy up, up on the top. I could totally picture like a platter of these, like 10 of them on a huge platter with the vinaigrette on the side and people just come along and grab like this huge portion of broccoli. How amazing is that? It's so amazing that I can't wait to take a bite. Mm. Mm-hmm. Mm Okay, we're just gonna start off actually with the vinaigrette. That garlic confit, the lemon, the walnuts, the sweetness of the dates and raisins, so good, it's a great texture. And I love the fact it's crispy on the outside, but the tenderness of the stem, when you cook it just right, it's perfect. There's like a little bit of texture, a little bit of forgiveness. And then we all love our broccoli florets. That's just an easy one, right? What a fun dish to showcase a whole broccoli. As always, see you next week. Bye.